There are several steps to uh, adding and participating in a wiki, and I've listed some of them here for you. You basically need to f find the wiki, edit, use the toolbar, save, and then there's a nice feature where you can review history. Let me show you um, how this actually looks in Blackboard. So in your course, you're going to go over to the uh, group area and find your group, select the wiki. This will open the content. Now this is what it looks like, so you have to choose Edit Wiki to actually go into the editing features. Now only one person can do this at a time, so if you don't see that button it means somebody else in your group is editing. And you'll see a toolbar here. It looks like all the other toolbars in Blackboard, but you've got fonts to select from, and you can edit the size of the font. Uh, that way you can make headings and text. Try doing a selection. You always have to select first before you make a change. And we'll make this bold, pump it up to maybe 14 points. And now you have <clears throat> a larger title. I like this feature of the wiki. There's an insert um, line, and that helps make sections and organize the wiki so it's easy on the eye to go through and see things simply. Let me show you how to put a picture in. Now, you'll notice my cursor was clicking in front of the word organization. I selected that little image icon, and I'll go find a picture here. There is an image description area, and that just like in your blog, that allows uh, for a screen reader, which is really great if you have visually impaired students or if it's just how some of your learners like to use their computer. Now to size it and do the wrapping, you have to click on the Appearance tab. I like this one down here, right, but you'll see it on the little picture on the side. It'll give you a preview. Now here's where the part, <clears throat> it'll take a little practice. I'm going to start changing the dimensions to 450, keeping it constrained. I'll put some vertical space in, two pixels of vertical and horizontal space so that the text pushes off a little bit, and then press insert. Now that picture looks a little bit big compared to the text I have, so I'm going to right click, choose image again, and that same window will appear. I'll go back to the appearance tab. I think I'll bump this down to 300 so it's more in balance. The proportions are constrained, so we will get all squished. And there, that looks a little bit more reasonable, and you can continue adding text. So um, right now, you still have to press Submit. This does a couple of things. It saves your changes. And it also will allow for another user to come in and edit or add their content. Look at the screen to refresh. Now here's the final thing. You do have the ability to see the history of the wiki. So you'll see uh, I was in there as a fake student and there's the teacher version. So I'm going to select two versions and compare. And a screen will come up and you'll see the image is highlighted so I can tell that the image was added and the title has an underline underneath it showing that this was also updated. So you'll be able to compare what one another has done and I will use this for grading purposes. So again, you'll open the wiki, select edit, use the formatting toolbar, and save changes. And that review history helps out. Perhaps this is your first time editing a wiki with multiple users, or maybe you've done this before. But either way, this powerful Web 2.0 tool is something that you should consider using when you become a teacher. It will certainly have value in collaborative assignments.